It's me, Destiny, here, and today's look is another Juvia's Place look. I'm really excited about this brand. You guys know that I'm kind of tardy to the party, but I absolutely love her foundations and her concealers. Today's look was featuring some of her concealers. Now, I've seen some of her concealers. Well, I have them, and I've seen them here in my hand, and I have them here, and I use them, obviously. But when I first seen them, there was a couple that I said, now that looks like my skin tone. And because you can see clearly through the bottle, I thought that that might help some of you guys. So I did go in, great. I did go in and use some of her concealers today and I absolutely positively love how the look came out. I've been wearing this foundation for about, I don't know, six hours now. And it's beautiful. I only, I've been wearing this foundation. I've been wearing this concealer for about six hours now. I only touched up once and that's just because that's what I do. Like I have a habit of, cause I'm in my house most of the day, right? Editing, going on live, talking to you guys, chilling, drinking, watching TV. And I have a habit of touching up. I don't think I would have had to touch up, but the touch up definitely helped it a little bit and because I am using the concealer and not the foundation, the concealer's a little bit dewier. It just, oh my God, I love it. And then on the eyes, I use the Warrior palette. I'm coming and I'm talking to you now because this is a silent video. I may put a little voiceover in, but then again, I also may not. I've been doing a lot of full face, long speechy videos and I might just let you guys enjoy the video and some random royalty free music. Um, I did use the Warrior palette on the eyes and I will hold this here and show you guys in the order that I use them, what colors that I used. And I also use a black from the Safari palette. I absolutely love their eyeshadows. I knew to Julia's Place as a brand. I don't know anything about them. I'm not an affiliate yet or anything like that. I got a lot of questions on that, but I knew I'm excited about their products. So do know that you're gonna see a lot of Juvia's Place looks. I'm actually going to probably film a Juvia's Place haul or at least a palette collection because they were kind enough to send me quite a few eyeshadow palettes and a brush collection, foundation, highlighters. I'm absolutely stoked and I'm shook. And um, I tried to make my lighting a little bit brighter for you guys, but still not too bright or too yellow. Um, my other video, the video I just put out was a little bit bright and people are making claims of skin bleaching and you guys know I do not play games with that. Okay, I will drag you through the film. Ain't no bleach, ain't no bleach. If I am bleaching, it should ain't working. Anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and get into this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys like Juvia Place because I'm about to do the most. And you guys know I'm annoying when I love a product. So, and I love these products. So I'm gonna see you guys and in the areas that I was unable to film due to my battery dying and my card getting filled up, I will insert and tell you guys what I did. I'll probably do a little voiceover, but I might just let you guys chill out. You guys been getting spoiled. You guys better comment, you better like, you better subscribe, you better hit that bell. All right, I'll see you guys. All right guys, so even though Juvia's Place eyeshadow is very pigmented, I am gonna start out with a base. Starting out with a base helps your eyeshadow to stick and last longer. The first eyeshadow that I'm using from the Warrior palette is called Ahosi, and it's a very pale kind of eggshell color. And I'm using that in the upper third of the eye, and then I'm going in with Pano to blend that out. You guys know that I love a three color transition in my 
lid area and then blending down onto my mobile lid I get a little bit darker as we go so as you'll notice as I'm blending 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 the key to this look is blending very very much because we go from a very pale to a very dark color within a short amount of transition colors the next color I'm using is Mino and that is the darkest color in the warrior palette and as the colors get darker I'm kind of blending them into a V shape I did go in with a black from the Saharan palette to go ahead and finish that out and really really make that crease intense that is a great tip if you have a hooded eye space such as myself is to go in and blend from lightest to darkest and as you'll see I'm blending intensely because it does make a difference in the eye look so here you'll see I'm adding that black from the Safari palette or the Saharan palette and I'm just turning my brush to the side to make sure it stays mostly on the outer third but I am also going to bring it a bit into my crease and across my lid somewhat creating what would be the base of a cut crease look but I'm not really a cut crease fan so when I do go in with the lid color which will be Edia IDIA from the Warrior palette I am going to blend it upward a little bit onto the crease Blending that top black into the lid space is also very important if you want it to look soft and blown out. So here you'll see I'm going in with Edia and I'm going in with the flat shimmer brush from Juvia's and it really, really applies that color intensely and beautifully. So like I said, it kind of started to be somewhat of a cut crease look. I'm not a fan of cut creases that much, so I blend it out. So what I'm doing now is I'm going in with Color 5 Concealer and I'm blending that all over my face. In the center of my face, I will be using colors 11 and 12 to give my skin a pop. And I'll be using Color 1 to give myself a contour. These concealers blend so nicely and a little bit goes a long way so do not overdo it with these Juvia's Place products. You will not be doing yourself any benefit. A little bit goes a long way and it looks really really pretty. So here goes color 11. No this is color 12 and then I go in with color 11. That's another Juvia's Place brush that I'm using by the way. I love these brushes. So this is color one, as I said, and I'm using it as my contour, and I'm also using it to cut my jaw and make my face look a lot slimmer <laughs> because I put on an LB or two, and contour really helps with that. So now I'm going in with the color Moremi, and I'm using that in the inner tear duct to open up my eye and really give this look some wings. To finish the eye look off, I blended out Mino, Pano, and some black on my bottom waterline. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look, and I really, really like it. A few times during the look, I was just like, oh, man, it's not coming out how I want. I wish this was different. I wish that was different, but I, I kept plugging. I kept going on, and I really like how it came out. I really, really love Juvia's Place eyeshadows. I think they're gorgeous, and there are so many parts of this video that I wasn't able to record because my battery was dying, the powder the lips, some of the eye details, but hopefully you guys got the gist of what was going on. I think this is a fairly simple look and I didn't do anything too abstract when it comes to my complexion or my lips or anything like that. I, I've done what I've been doing. So hopefully you guys can recreate this. And if you decide to, definitely go ahead and tag me. As always, I wanna thank you guys for commenting, rating, and subscribing. I'll be in touch and hopefully you'll do the same. Bye.